hi everyone I don't know if anybody's here nobody's in the chat um, I have a box opening though I have to do because I have two other boxes uh, that I have to do in the next few days the next week so this box is the second part of an order I put in for Joe Mar. Joe Mar, I had ordered a just a basic uh, life support box, they called, and they were a new with tags box. That one came quite a while ago, and I opened it. But this is, this just came a few days ago, and this is called the Mature Brands Reseller Box. Pre-love, 25 uh, pieces of clothing. And it was on sale half price, so that's why I got it. I have no idea what mature brands means. Uh, it had been over a hundred dollars, and I got it for fifty dollars. There's 25 pieces, so this is barely uh, just a little over two dollars, count shipping, two dollars a piece for these uh, these things. Sir, thank you card. Pretty tissue paper. Okay. <clears throat> okay, I'm thinking uh, mature brands may mean hi Sue. Mature brand Sue may mean what we wear. I don't know, or it may mean brands that have been around for quite a while. No trendy little uh, brands. So. Either one of those is fine. Oh, here's a good brand already. This is this is uh, Trina Turk, and it is a small, and it's a nice ivory colored. This is a turtleneck, turtleneck sweater, very fine knit, really soft. But the back has a great big keyhole, so it has an open space in the back here. I don't see any uh, marks or anything on it. Super soft. So that's a good start. <clears throat> See, this is stuff that I'd wear because <laughs> this is a turtleneck, of course. Uh, it's is cable stitch rose colored turtleneck by Tommy Helfiger in a small. Oh, how good this lighting is today, but Tommy Helfiger. So a good basic brand looks good. It's very perfumey. This is, has to go through the wash. <laughs> We've had uh, over a foot of snow. It has finally stopped snowing. It stopped about an hour ago. I have my car hearts on. Well, these are fake car hearts, but for two days. <laughs> I mean, I take them off to go to bed, but uh, they're nice and warm because it's cold up where the television is in my family room. So I just keep them on. It's exhausting to get all dressed to go outside. So once I put them on in the morning to go out to the chickens, I do not take them off all day. So yeah. So they keep me warm in the house, too. Uh, my snowplow guy came yesterday morning, but then it snowed like crazy. So the, it was really deep this morning. So he came this morning about 1030 or so and plowed. And he was here over a half hour plowing with his truck. Uh, there was a lot of snow. I tried to 
uh, shovel a little bit on the deck. I was going to shovel my way to the garage, but this snow this time was very heavy. So I barely got a space to put my, <laughs> to put my bin out there for the mail person. And, uh, and then I just came, I came in and waited for the plow guy to get here before I went to the, to the, see the chickens, make sure they're fine. Simply Vera. This is a Vera Wang. Uh, they carry this all over now. I don't know if they care. I think they can even carry Vera Wang in Walmart now. I know they carry it in Kohl's. Uh, this is an extra large. It's a, I don't know what that sign is. It's a vest, but the back, the back is open, but there's a um, sheer or semi-sheer uh, undercover there. So it's open, but there's a semi-sheer lining. So a little vest. That's good. Vests are in right now. And this uh, hangs out past the bottom of the vest, like there's another shirt underneath there. So that's a good piece. So far, these aren't all jumbled up. Nope. This is a dress by Loft, Ann Taylor Loft. And this is just Ann Taylor Loft. This isn't uh, the outlet store. It zips down the back. It's a black short sleeve uh, sheath, sheath dress. Goes in a little bit at the waist, I guess. There's a bunch of fuzz on it. But it's just a, your basic black dress. Probably goes to the knee. I think that's black. Pretty sure. It's a size 2. Just a little black dress. By Loft. So far, so good. Well, now we're coming to the rolled up clothes. It's a nice big heavy sweater by L.L. Bean in an extra small. This is good. It's a little thick feeling. Let me make sure this isn't wool and has been washed. It is wool. 80% wool, 20% nylon. But it is an extra small. So it's a pretty ivory sweater. I'm hoping this hasn't been washed in the washing machine. It doesn't really feel, it just feels like it's a nice thick sweater. But it doesn't feel like it's been jumbled up. Uh, made you know when wool gets washed in a washing machine it has a certain feeling it's an old people's box yeah well they can't call it the old people's box so they call it the mature brains <laughs> right uh brandy says glad to hear it stopped snowing thankful we only got a little bit <clears throat> yeah we got a ton today or yesterday and through the night up until just a little while ago. Sue, did you get this swath of snow that came? I don't think, I think it missed you, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not sure. <clears throat> L.L. Bean. I haven't had one of the, those uh, in a box in a while. Here's a skirt. Charisma. Never, ever heard of this. 
here's the tag. Charisma. Anybody ever hear of that? This is a medium. It's cotton and model. It's a stretch waist. Looks like a sweater uh, material. Knit. It's a knit uh, skirt. It's awfully small waist for a medium. So maybe this is. It's also cotton. Could have been washed. <laughs> uh, this could be a uh, older brand. Well, these are all older brands. That uh, the vintage things run smaller in the sizes. So I don't know. I have to look this brand up. I never heard of it. It's a pretty teal color. Skirt. Here's a jacket. Banana Republic, but it's the outlet store. This is a black, like a trench coat, but it's a jacket. It's a pretty lining. Look at the pretty little check, micro check lining. This is a small, has epaulets on the shoulders, has a belt. It's just like a, a trench coat, only it's a jacket. It's a short over the hip jacket in black. That's nice. I just sold my Misty Harbor trench coat. Yeah, that was a packing dilemma. It was huge because it was lined. <laughs> but I got it in the biggest, biggest priority box. <clears throat> so this is this is good. Here's another brand I never heard of. Randy Kemper. It's a pair of dress pants. Randy Kemper. Let me know if anybody's ever heard of these brands. You like to come shovel? I think we got between 12 and 15 inches. Oh, you did get this snow then. You was that from the last one, or is this on top of what you got before? <laughs> Sue says I washed a sweater once. It could have fit on Julie's doll. I know they can get really small. This is a nice gray, size six, gray pair of dress pants. Very nice. Uh, they're not lined, so I'm thinking that that isn't wool. I don't see a tag. I'll have to hunt for a tag later, but very nice, nice pair of basic uh, dress pants, gray. Of course, dress pants aren't really flying off the shelf right now because nobody's going to work. Catherine, not Catherine's. This is Catherine Melandring. This looks like a vintage label. Catherine Mc a size eight, but it is viscose and uh, spandex. I can't think viscose isn't really vintage. Uh, Catherine McLan McLandrin McLand. I can't see. Shoot. <laughs> uh, what is this? Another pair of pants. Pair of pants, and these have a belt, a self belt here. Size eight, these look bigger than size eight, but I don't know. they're black, black pair of 
a pair of dress pants. All right, that's enough of dress pants now. Oh, here's another pair. These could be linen though. <clears throat> These are extra small by Comfy USA. And they certainly do look like linen and they're not lined, so they are 100% linen, gray linen. You can almost see through them. They're so, these would be so cool in the summertime. Uh, a little bit elastic, but they zip, they have a zipper fly. No button. Is that the, that is the front. By Comfy. <clears throat> Evidently, us old people like to be comfy. <laughs> oh. And here's something vintage. It has a $70 tag on. It's handwritten, so I don't know. This may be a boutique store. This is Ted Tadashi Shoji. Shoji. Tadashi Shoji. In a size four. This is all lines, quite heavy. It is a dress. There's a draped front there. Goes in at the waist. Please don't be loops on there. No belt loops. It's all lined. And this is very heavy. With this little uh Tag that says vintage to Dashi Shoji seventy dollars. So I'll have to uh, look this up. A mystery dress in an animal print. It's a leopard, I think. <clears throat> oh dear! Oh no! This is a dress. Okay, Kelvin Klein in a size two. This is uh, like a, let me see, it's really small. This is like a midi length. Here's the waist, yeah. Well, it's below the knee. I don't know if you call it, it's not quite midi. It has an exposed zipper on the back, which is kind of stuck there. Exposed uh, gold zipper, which I hope I can get that undone. I'm sure I can. There. Fixed it. In a size 2, Kelvin Klein, black and white, whatever you call this type of design. It's a nice looking dress. It's not lined. Sort of has a raw hem. Not raw, but it's it's kind of strange. It looks like it should be turned up. I don't un quite understand this here. Maybe somebody let this down. I think actually somebody lowered the hem because there is a sort of a fold there. So this needs to be hemmed back up. Maybe some night when I'm sitting on the couch, I'll just do that. I can hem pretty good. <clears throat> that means it won't be listed for quite a while. Uh, okay. Something red. It's a little 
Tank Top by Tahari, but it's Alfred Levine, which isn't the best Tahari. In a petite, uh, six petite. It's a little red uh, dressy tank top. It's all lined. <clears throat> Here's a new with tags. Clue, C L U. I never heard of that either. Clue. I'm a mature brand and I've never heard of Clue. It's a uh, sweater dress, but the sleeves are, they have a bell cuff elastic and they're sort of it's a little bit of a balloon sleeve but they're semi sheer the sleeves are it's a shift I think this is a shift dress doesn't go in at the waist at all extra small so a sweater dress with uh, detailed sheer semi sheer sleeves in a black. <clears throat> oh dear, here's another pair of pants. These are by Bershka, made in Turkey, US size two. And there's the tag. Bershka. They have like a paper bag waist and they have a, their own belt here. They have a little cuff on. They're sort of tapered though. But they have a cuff and they have slash pockets on the back. Let's see what you made out of. One of these tags in every language known to man. And Polyester, viscose, and elastane. Okay. It'd probably be cute on. <clears throat> With the paper bag waist. <clears throat> Actually, pants, one of my favorite things to list. To take pictures of and list even though they don't sell tremendously. Akira Chicago, red label. Never ever heard of that. Akira Chicago, red label, it says. This has um, like metal beading on the shoulders. The top, maroon top, the crossover front, Looks like long sleeves, I think. Yeah. So a dressy little top. <clears throat> Dana Buckman in a small Dana Buckman signature. Just a little uh, tank top, sort of a polyester feeling fabric. It's, it's knit though. <clears throat> Rayon and nylon. Okay. Has a square neckline there. 
<clears throat> Another coat. This is another little jacket. This has a pretty lining too. It's a black trenchy type coat. This one doesn't have a belt. But it has belt loops, which is bad. No belt. No belt. No belt. Huh. Well, that's a problem. It's a short uh, over the hip. Petite, extra small. It's my son telling me he's home from work. I told him to call me. This, uh, this is probably a regular size coat for a petite person. This would be really nice if it had the belt. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So that's a problem. Okay, another pair of pants. These look like men's pants. But they're by Loft. And they're the Marisa Skinny in a size 10. So they're women's pants. <clears throat> they look high rise. Skinny, very thick material. In this gray, uh, not, the, not the prettiest pants in the world, but good brand. One more piece. It has scalps. It's very bright. It's bright, so, sort of, I don't know what you call this, color. Sort of fluorescent, not quite fluorescent, but that's the color. Fluorescent yellowish greenish. Oh. This is by Loft in a size 4. It's a dress. <clears throat> and this little over top is attached. And the bottom hem is scallop too. That's really cute. The back has a hook and eye. And that's the back. Back opens up like that. So that's a really good, I bet this would be cute on. Buzz. Okay, that is the box of Mature Brands. So that was pretty good, I think. I don't know if it'll sell. <laughs> I think it will. A lot of those pieces are very nice. So I like that for $2 a piece. I think that's a pretty good uh, box. Oh, you've got that much more snow in this one. Hmm. Yeah. Make sure my son's okay. <clears throat> Carl's home. That's where I called. Okay. I'll call him back. I had a fit yesterday because he went to work in all that horrible weather. He doesn't stay home from work for anything. So... Only a few people went to the job site, but he was one of them. And uh, fortunately, this job that he's on, he doesn't have to take the highway. He can go down city streets. So they were pretty much plowed. So, yeah. I was, I was picturing him on the highways, and they were showing how bad it was yesterday. But uh, 
Yeah, Michelle went to the barn yesterday. She almost got stuck first in her driveway and then on the road to the barn, partially the road leading up to the barn wasn't plowed at all. She was driving through about a foot of snow, but she made it and she made it home. So today her neighbor plowed her driveway for her. She's going to buy him a box of, he wouldn't take any money, so she's going to go get him a box of cupcakes or donuts or something. <laughs> so that's my box from Jomar. This box is from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. <clears throat> So I have uh, two more boxes to open. One is a, is a thread up box, mixed clothing, and one is a little blue box from Goodwill. And at six o'clock, I have my alarm set. I have to go in and bid, not bid, try to get another blue box. Because they're only $29.99 and it's hard. they're hard to get. They go within a minute. So you have to be ready with your button to push. So I'm going to try again to get the denim box, but we'll see. It's one of the ones that go right away. So I'm going to close for now and uh, get this stuff hung up. That's uh, a pretty, it's an okay box from Jomar. And I will see you on Sunday. That's the next time I'll come on. Sunday, um, I may open a box. Sunday, I do the What's Sold video. I not, also, I may open a box this, on the same, same day, same one. So I will see you all then. Thanks, Randy, for coming. And Sue, stay warm. Don't you wish you had a pair of overalls quilted inside? Nice and warm. So bye.